Hi, I'm Karen Heller, founder and owner of Cresme LLC. This is vlog number 10. Last week's vlog was all about cover letters, and in the interest of keeping that short and to the point, I took out some information about cover letters, ways that it can be used actually to create your own job and insert yourself into the hidden job market, as some of you might have heard about. It's called an approach letter. It is a proactive communication. I'm going to insert here the excerpts that I took out of last week's vlog so that I can cover some bases about how to use an approach letter to create your own job. Now understand that I'll call it a cover letter but sometimes it can be better referred to as an approach letter which is a proactive communication. The recipient may not have an opportunity that's open that they're actively hiring for but you might just strike at the right moment. Or again, if you're approaching them as there could be some potential for us to help each other, this is a networking opportunity, chances are they actually will respond. If they're a very successful executive, chances are they've gotten there because they were open to networking with new people. And if they're not open, they're not open. Some will, some won't. So what? Next. When you are sending an approach letter, when you're trying to approach somebody proactively, a resume is really not the best collateral to send or the best attachment to include with your email. Actually, the best collateral to send with an approach letter would be a biography, or you could include a link to your LinkedIn profile, um, but you really aren't asking for a job in this type of letter. You're asking for the opportunity to see how there are ways that you can help each other. And so you want to give them an idea of your background and enable them to get better acquainted with who you are and what you've accomplished and what kind of professional that you are without making it look like you are asking for a job, which is why the resume is not the most appropriate. You should actually reserve sending your resume to people who definitely have an opportunity posted or that request your resume. I want to address the people who are watching this that are saying, I don't have time for this. I just need a job. I need to find it now. And um, this doesn't sound like something that's going to get me instant results. Well, to them, I have to say, you would be very surprised how effective this is in getting a response. I want you to consider all the time that you spend on looking for open positions, all the competition that you're facing when you submit your resume to these positions, how hard it is to actually get an interview. I was speaking to a group of students last week, and there was a facilitator there who uh, helps run the group and he's also a hiring manager for a very large pharmaceutical company in the area. He was echoing what I was trying to tell these students, which is they could be one of thousands of applicants, and then once it gets through HR to the hiring manager, there might be 40 to 60 candidates that make it through, and then that hiring manager will choose maybe three people to interview for one position. That's a lot of competition. So I want you to consider that an approach letter may not be a, an actual request for a job, but very often it does lead to networking that does lead to job offers. And if you don't trust me, try it. Try writing a really effective letter that inserts some research that you've done on the needs of the organization. And um, if you can do a really great job of effectively telling them why talking to you could help them find a solution to whatever challenges they're facing, you will find that the results that you're getting and the time that you're investing is a much better payoff. So um, please do write to me. Let me know if you test this out and do find the result, results that I'm speaking of. I'm actually very confident that you will. You can find out more about approach letters and other ways that you can invest your time more wisely in your transition and get better results in Three Success Secrets of Getting Hired, our webinar that's available on our website been hearing a lot of the backlash that Mitt Romney is facing regarding some comments that he made about uh, lazy, entitled Americans who aren't getting off their butt pretty much. I don't know what he said literally. I'm just hearing the backlash and I just wanted to take some time to address that with the people who are finding it very hard to get up every morning and do what's necessary to get the job that you so desperately need so that you can be a contributing member of society and not somebody that Mitt Romney is referring to. I don't want to make this political because I don't think it is when it comes to solutions to this problem. Really, I just think that a lot of Americans are spending their time in, on resources that produce very few results. Yes, there are much fewer jobs than there are people looking for them. But there's also very few people who are putting into practice the best practices of transitioning. And the people that do 
they get attention, they get results. They may not get the job in the end because they may not be the ultimate fit, but they're seeing momentum and that makes a huge difference in a person's confidence and in their momentum and in the motivation that it takes them every morning to get up. And so we can't say that our services are going to directly connect you with your job. A lot of people want me to make introductions for them and really as a part of networking, I'm happy to do that. Um, but I'm not like an agent, like a talent agent. I'm not introducing you directly to employers and that's not really what people invest in my services to do. I want to teach you how to do the activities that actually produce really great results so that in the morning when you wake up, number one, you remember why it is you're waking up and you're not just waking up to get a job, find a paycheck. You're getting up to find work that's completely fulfilling, that enables you to thrive in the ways that you meant to thrive and contribute to a company and the ways that you feel passionate about contributing. That's number one. Number two, you're going to organize your day in a way that you're feeling productive. Not only are you feeling productive, but you're enjoying your day. You're enjoying the activities that produce the results. And then, of course, you enjoy the results themselves, which looks like meeting really important people who have opportunities and people that recognize that you are a solution to their problems. And that is what a really effective transition looks like. I don't think that's what a lot of people are experiencing right now. And maybe Mitt Romney has never really been there to know how difficult it is to wake up every morning and get yourself out of bed and go back to a grind that has no immediate paycheck, no immediate return. And I, I do understand that. Um, and that's that's a problem that I'm passionate about solving. So if you are in that situation and you want to, instead of finding it very difficult to wake up every morning, you want to uh, wake up knowing that you have a lot of value and knowing how to communicate that value to other people and how to get those people to feel inspired, to make very powerful introductions for you and to engage in activities that you enjoy with people that you enjoy being around and then ultimately getting that job much sooner than you would otherwise, then that's why we're here. That's, um, that's what we do. So if you want to see those results, go to our website, fill out our needs assessment form, send it to Karen at .com, along with a recent resume. We'll provide you a free campaign and resume evaluation and also provide you with a proposal for our services. Then we walk you through that proposal so that you understand what it looks like to engage us and the benefits that you'll realize by partnering with us in your transition. You don't have to go it alone. We would love to help you unveil your brilliance. So we hope to hear from you soon.